My Religion, Your Religion, A Cloverleaf Alike in Different Book, by Lisa Bullard, illustrated by Kali Conger. Hi, I'm David. This is my neighbor, Zach. He just turned 13. Zach is really nice for a big kid. He teaches me about baseball. Zach invited me to a service at a synagogue. Dad explained that's where Jewish people worship. He's coming with me. I've never been to a synagogue, I remind Dad. What if I don't understand things? What if I do something wrong? Don't worry, Dad says. We don't need to understand everything. We just need to show respect. We go online to learn about being respectful at a synagogue. We find out that 13 is an important birthday for Jewish boys. The special service is Zach's bar mitzvah. In Zach's religion, he is now an adult. Jewish girls have a bat mitzvah. It's similar to a bar mitzvah for boys. Does your religion or family have a special way of celebrating young people? When we get to the service, we're given a little cap to wear. It's called a kippah. I notice that other men and boys and some of the women and girls are wearing them too. It's fun to be part of Zach's special day. There are prayers and singing. I'm used to that from our church. Zach also reads in front of everyone. It's a language I don't know. Dad says it's Hebrew. Sunday morning, Dad and I go to church. I look at the sign. Is our religion called Lutheran? I ask. It's called Christianity, he says. There are different kinds of Christian churches. Lutheran is one kind. You and Mom go to a Catholic church. That's Christian, too. Many different religions can be found around the world. Does your family practice a religion? I always wonder why there are different kinds of churches. Do you think it's like fans choosing to follow different baseball teams? I like to go to both my churches. I get to see friends, and I feel like God listens while we pray. I ask Dad if people of all religions pray. That would be a lot for God to listen to. Not all religions have a God, as we think of God, says Dad. But many religions pray. Different religions have different ways of praying. Does your family pray? On Sunday afternoon, people from my church volunteer. We help at a place that serves food to people who need it. I see Sophia, my friend from school. She's volunteering too. I ask Sophia if she's there with another church. She says her family isn't part of a religion. They just like helping others. On the way home, I see lots of people in the park. Remember Fami from my baseball team? I ask Dad. He told me his family's going to have a big celebration here. Do you know what they're celebrating? Dad tells me that the month of Ramadan just ended for Muslims. But the month's not over yet, I say. Ramadan is a part of their religious calendar, Dad says. It's an important time for Muslims. When Ramadan is old over, Muslims give thanks and celebrate. It's called Eid al fitr Muslims call their god Allah. Ramadan is a special time for Muslims to get closer to Allah. Are there any special times of your religion that are special to your... Later, Kate comes over to babysit. I've been finding about different religions, I tell her. And Dad says there's even more. I've been studying Buddhism, Kate says. She tells me she's been going to a Buddha center. She's learning to meditate. She says it will help her have a peaceful mind. It must even be working, because she stays peaceful even when she catches me tossing my baseball inside. When Dad gets home, he comes to tell me goodnight. He listens while I say my prayers. I believe God is listening too. I give thanks for my full stomach. I give thanks for the people I know. Dad, Mom, Zach, Sophia, Fami, and Kate. And I give thanks for baseball. Many religions encourage their followers to help other people. People who do not follow religion often make a point to help others too. What are some ways that you could do this? Talk to your family and make a list of how you and your family could work together to be helpers. Here's some ideas to get you started. Do chores for a neighbor or family member who's elderly. Volunteer for an organization that helps people. Clean up your local park. Donate to a food shelf. Give your unneeded items to a charity. Make a card for someone who's sick. Visit a residence for elderly people. What else can you think of? The end.